Okay, here we go. Alright, let's see if we can figure out where these need to be. I know there's a lip around here sort of area and one lower here. Do you want let's have a look at our images again? Alright, we need to get a front view would be good, I think I remember seeing one. Side, you know what? I'll have to sort this out shortly. Oh you can see how that's been bodged together there, that, that looks really good, that could be an interesting part. I will. Right, so. That lower vent, or chin vent. Um, it's lined up with that, and that is lined up with that. There we go, they're very handy. Yeah. So. Uh, one. And tap for. For edit mode, sorry, I'm not at the image. This line looks like it might be in a good position anyway, so what should we do first? Should we do a control B for bell? Oop. Shift to slow it down. Right, and what we want to do here is Actually, let's put a one along the bottom as well, so we won't messing with that just yet. And to be safe again, actually, we'll just put another one in. Okay, so if we can drag a box around them once. slide that in on the X turn off sub D for now just so we can see where it's going and then tell you what we'll do it in face mode I like them too and then also slide that one back or them ones back Right, but how far does that go back? Well, now we need a side view. Scrolling, there we go. Alright, not too bad. It looks like it's coming back also, doesn't it? So, correct that. So, three, uh, one. Highlight them. Just slide them back a little bit. Probably straight up and down to be fair, that image again, it has the, the rear lifted. Also, had a second thought, as I look for that front image again. Oh, where's it gone? I should download these, you know, but... Yeah, so it it kind of comes in slightly also, All right? I like them. Slide them to the left a little bit, not too far. Just whatever looks right, really. If you eyeball it, all smooth off. Oof. I just need to increase the size. Actually, you know, we could slide these around the corner a little bit. GG. Try to put them in the center. Good. Highlight all of them. If it doesn't look if it's in the right place, just edge it out a little bit. So, front one. Right, let's cut this up. So we need one in here, one in here, and an edge round here for the vents. So we'll do that first. 
it's not huge. It's not big, it's not clever. Oof. Same again, bottom. That is also going to tighten up those curves. So they've been quite handy from the off. Let's have a quick check of that. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Right, so, control up. Um, I would say that's straight up and down, so if we press E, F, and line up with the light there. The red's going to be here. And second thoughts, take it a little bit past there again. I need to create that outside support. So, JJ, just move it up a little bit past where you think it needs to be. JJ, control R. <clears throat> and again, we'll inset that. Oh, quick drink. wasn't a quick drink, it was a big drink. <laughs> All right. So, quick glance back at this. So, that upper edge we've put in and the lower edge, this vent will use both of them, whereas the main middle vent won't use that edge there, so we'll need to select that face above it also. For example, uh, oh, you know what we've missed? That one there as well. E, F. I guess the size of the vent, of course, a little bit wider than it should be. Okay, so. Three, inset. I pull that in a little bit. Cancel it a sec. I don't think. I think that's just too wide. GG. It seems more tall than it is anything else. Three. Inset. And <clears throat> extrude Y. But it appears to go to the side. So if we skew it over to the. Right a little bit. I'll tell you what, there was scale on the Z as well. This creates an extra face, so these at the C, do a control R. Let's put in a support and edge there. Let's shift to slow it down. Alright, this I have a feeling. might have to do this a slightly different way because we can't really inset this one because it's or oh, could we slide this edge down right I had an idea watch this bit before you start doing it yourself just in case it doesn't work we'll solve that time travel thing yet right so in edge GG that select both of them inset you see though we don't need the top bit we'll try see how it goes like I say wait to see how this turns out before you start doing it yourself right, so inset just a little bit so again, it matches up with them. Extrude Y. Two. And then if we pull that up. Oops. On the head. Still not happy with that bit. So if we can do... 
easy way around. Three, highlight them two. X three. Put another edge in there. Put the front. So basically you want to line that with that, JG. So I'll highlight that, control to that, and then control click to the all merge by distance two. F. Oh, I think we've got away with it. A support and edge in there. Of course these are gonna be huge curves at the minute as soon as we put this sub D back on. There we go. But I think it got round that. Control R there. Pull that edge in. Ooh, do I don't want to go too close because it starts creating a bit of an edge there. It'll appear. Oh, it hasn't, you know. That seems to have worked. Okay, so we'll do a Control R for this one also. Slide it down. Just so they look similar, and then we'll do a control off for this one. Similar size, that size, and that size. And that has actually created some nice curves there as well, so we don't actually need to put the extra supporting curve in that one. I feel that should be removed, but we'll just leave that in for now. See how it seems to come in here as well, as if it goes all the way out to being flat and then goes back out again. And it does at the top also, actually, what we need to check again, that edge, come on. Right, yeah, so we've brought that down from the front of that, didn't we? So, so the patch is there. Should we create the patch now? Or should we just make the bumper and maybe just add the patch as a DDL later? Hmm. Well, that's on 13 minutes again, so. One. Reverts. I'll drag them out. It doesn't have to line up perfectly. Just as long as it gives that sort of idea. And actually, we could drop a control R in there just to tighten that edge up. And we'll do one for the top also. Don't want to use the creases this time because it makes it too severe. And go we'll get that distance similar to that one. Oh, apart from that patch that we could put in, that is the bumper done. Right, pretty much apart from finer little details, of course. Actually, I'm just looking at that image again. It appears that that. This edge might need to slide back to meet with that one there. Just scroll through the images again, sorry. I know I'm off screen doing this. As I say, sometimes as I've scrolled through the browser, it doesn't seem to update, which is very strange. Yeah, right, what we'll do is we'll just ignore them back verts there and we shall slide that back it seems huge to be fair no jokes all right and 
also let's just slide them back it sort of keeps that edge nice Should we put one in there? I feel that looks out of place now. How about we'll control Z to that one? say it's okay to do that and <laughs> you can go back and do that a little bit three now uh, let's do a scale y going into another one right so the way I see it is if we just bring that across extrude snap that and uh, merge and just line that up and we'll drop the crease on there there we go Still leaves that curve there, but looks less than it was. There we go. Let's do a see if we can do a compare. Can we get the same sort of angle? See this green square here, it only moves it on the Y, so we'll just bring it up, keep touching it with that in our foot there, and then we highlight that, take the crease of it. There you go, let's give it that curve, memory's a bit too severe with that support edge going around. Could we get away with sliding them? GG. And put one through there. Not really. Undo that. No. Safer without. Alright. Mm, I still feel it needs to come out at the bottom. more straight down than actually following the body line so quick adjustment again sorry and then and then we'll make sure you select Ooh, that one at the back that one seems to go through there doesn't it so it's happened on yours, but I uh, shall just quickly correct this. Mm, 
GG. Whispering now. Okay. Right. Now I'll have to stop there for that one because that's now oof, 20 minutes. Okay then. Control S. Don't forget to save. Shall we try next? Hmm. I might put some temporary paint on it. Shouldn't be doing paint just yet, but from all the models I've done, looking at the, the grey model for so long, it just you fall out of love with it, shall we say? Once you start putting some paint on it, it looks looks great. Gives you a bit of encouragement. Right, so catch you shortly. <laughs> 